بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in this section we are going to start with something called layer 2 connections over the van using ethernet lines like in general if i if i just take an example of any one of the van technology now when you talk about van connections we got many types of van connections we got something called lease lines we have a separate dedicated connection between the two routers we got something called frame relay mpls so we got many many type of van technologies so here we are going to see is one type of van connections over ethernet lines so if you are establishing your van connection over ethernet connections ethernet lines now how we are going to do that by using a separate vlan trunking concepts now this will be very useful especially when when we are using some van connections like metro ethernet lines if you are using over ethernet we are establishing a van connection or it can be very useful especially in your cci lab exams uh, in your cci lab exam you have a logical diagram which is representing router 1 is connecting to router 2 or router 2 connecting to router 1 and in between you have some uh, switches involved where we are going to keep this port this port in the same vlan just more like a normal layer 2 connection so that is something what we are going to learn in this section so we are ready to start with our uh, first thing so before we get into these things the first thing i want you to know the prerequirement of this thing so before we get into this complete sections i expect you to know some basic configuration of the vlans like how to configure the vlan like by using switch port mode access switch port mode trunk commands and then the trunking configurations and also using some inter vlan routing when you are using a router by using sub interfaces here for multiple vlan that's what we did some basic labs in these things in our basic switching concepts and also you need to have some a very good understanding on how to create svis on your layer 3 switches so based on this we are going to create some logical topologies here now especially these concepts are useful in your metro ethernet lines and even in your configuration section where your most of the wan connections are built over the ethernet by using this logical connections let us see how to do that this is the standard default topology which i am going to use here this is a default topology which i already connected here where router 1 interfaces all f0 by zeros or connecting to my switch 1 you can see all the five ports i am using five devices router 1 router 2 router 3 router 4 and router 5 and all are connected to my switch 1 interface so this is the default physical topology so you can see here all f0 by 1 is connecting to router 1 F0 by 2 connecting to router 2, 0 by 3, 0 by 4, 0 by 5. So simply by seeing this number, the port number, I can understand what is the opposite side interface or opposite side device. So it's router 5. So I just try to connect the devices in a in a serial fashion so that we can easily remember which side of which port is going on which router here. And similar way, the router 1 is connecting all F0 by 1s. or connecting to my switch 2 i got a connection to switch 2 here on on the switches i use the similar kind of ports like f0 by 1 connecting to router 1 f0 by 2 connecting to router 2 f0 by 3 on the router 3 4 and 5 so this is the default topology which i'm using and between switch to switch here you can see port number 23 and port number 24 so these two links are actually connecting to my switch to switch and these links will be acting as my trunk links so these are the trunk links which i am going to use for allowing that vlan traffic over these trunk links so let us see how how the things are going to work here so the first thing we will try to understand the logical topology of router 1 router 2 connecting to router 5 so now if you see that default physical topology here we don't have any connection between router 2 and router 5 so but if you see the next diagram this is my logical diagram which is representing that router 2 is having a connection to router 5 but as per our physical topology which i have said there is no direct physical connection between router 2 this is my router 2 here and router 5 you can see there is no connection here but we are saying these two devices are connected how they are connected so let us see so router 2 is connecting to switch 1 So first thing we need to analyze what is the kind of port here. If you see my diagram here, router two, F zero by zero connecting to F zero by zero, which means 
on both the ends I'm using F0 by 0 which means router 2 is connecting to F0 by 0 here it is connecting to switch 1 that is on F0 by 2 port and from there it is on the same switch connecting to port number 5 I can connecting to my F0 by 0 so which means the router 2 is having a connection to router 5 via your a layer 2 switch so that is the default physical connection this is the the default physical connection is from here this is your default physical connection a router 2 sorry router 2 connecting to router 5 here this is my router 5 just a minute it's not router 2 this is router 2 okay so I just got my labels in the bottom here this is router 1 and this is router 2 here so router 2 connecting to my router 5 here so let us see how to do that now as per our default physical topology router 2 F0 by 0 ports is connecting to switch 1 and then this is also F0 by 0 again it is connecting to switch 1 and then on the switch 1 this is my router 2 port which is F0 by 2 and this port is F0 by 5 here so which means in order to make sure that router 2 is connecting to router 5 directly to each other but physically they are not directly connected they are connected to switch which is my intermediate devices we have to make sure that these two ports which belongs to F0 by 2 and F0 by 2 should be a part of same VLAN so this is how logically we separate the connections between every two devices even though physically they are not uh, directly connected but logically we are representing them as a part of a separate broadcast domain by making them in a separate VLAN okay so that is something what we are going to do here so that is really good to understand the logical connections here now similar way I got another diagram here like here one more diagram so this is all the diagrams we will we'll see the things practically here 